That would be a bad thing, right? <laughs> everyone and thank you so much for being here. I want to talk about the mayor's race and where we go from here. But first, I have some comments I'd like to make. As the first African American mayor since Alameda was established in 1854, I want to thank all of you for supporting me in what I have done during my 20 plus years as a volunteer for the city of Alameda. When I became mayor four years ago, we had many, many problems. Staff was fleeing in record numbers. Our budget reserves were shrinking. The federal government wanted $108 million for Alameda Point, and developers were driving that planning process. Transparency was non-existent at City Hall, and the city was embroiled in labor strife and runaway pension and benefit costs. After four years of mayor, as mayor, we collectively have changed all of that, and Alameda now has a stronger foundation upon which to move forward. We have wonderful, experienced professionals leading our staff. Our budget reserve has increased from 22 to 37 percent. And this year, we have a budget surplus. Yes, a budget surplus of $8 million. We obtained the transfer of Alameda Point at no cost to our citizens, and the city took control of the development of Alameda Point with a community approved plan which focuses on jobs, open space, and limited housing. We've approved only those projects that pave the way for more jobs on our island, um, such as Spirits Alley and a host of exciting new technologies. We've adopted a Sunshine Ordinance for more transparency. <coughs> And we have labor peace. Our partners such as fire and police have agreed to share more of the burden of their pensions and benefits, and they now contribute among the highest rates in the county for those benefits. After 30 years of bad decision making, we've got the ball rolling on solving that particular financial burden. Now turning to this election, this was a historically close race, probably about a hundred vote difference, which, and I don't need to remind any of you here, is why every single vote counts and why we should all vote. I want to congratulate our new city leaders, Trish Spencer, Frank Matarassi, and Jim Odie on their victories in our democratic process. I also want to thank my supporters and my numerous volunteers for your enthusiasm, effort, and your energy. Not only did we make a great team, but we formed some wonderful friendships along the way. And even though we came up a little bit short, I continue to be gratified by all the love and support shown by all of you. I have truly appreciated my opportunity to serve this community that I really love. And I will continue to work with all of you to move Alameda forward as our new council tackles important issues like moving forward with Alameda Point and the issue of rising rents for many in our community. And no, I am not seeking a recount. That would not be in the best interests of this city that we all love. And I want to thank each and every one of you for being here today. I truly appreciate it. 